Self-determination. And I love that word. I don't like self-government. I've always said you can call a beaver a duck, it still won't fly. You know, self-determination, as indigenous peoples, we have the inherent right to self-determination. We have our own land, our own laws, we have our own languages, our own people, and our own identifiable forms of government. Five things in international law that qualify a people's, you know, to be recognized with that inherent right. And because we have that inherent right to self-determination, we were able to enter into nation-to-nation -nation agreements with the Crown via the treaties. So we have that inherent right. Self-determination means that we're able to create our own societies. We were able to set up our own educational systems. We're able to set up our own justice systems. We're able to set up our own identifiable governments the way that we want to, based on our language and our history and our culture. That's what self-determination means. We don't have to be sucked up into this beautiful Canadian mosaic. We're indigenous peoples. And we're the indigenous peoples of Turtle Island. And that's so important for us to maintain that and keep moving towards the, we always call it occupying the field, creating our own laws. So federal law, provincial law do not apply. If we're self-determining as indigenous peoples and we have that right, we need to create our own laws. We need to create our own systems of governance. And now we need to keep moving forward and start to becoming recognized, not as a third order of government in Canada, but as the first order of government. That's what self-determination means. And we've got to keep moving down that road.